You're back in the shop with me today, guys. And today we're going to continue our woodworking Christmas gift series by building a charcuterie board. Now, who doesn't love some cured meats, some specialty cheeses, grapes, crackers? So stick around. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and let's build something. Ta-da! This is how my X-Carve is stored most of the time. It's so easy just to flip it up and get it ready to carve. And for such a large tool, by having it fold down, it really makes a lot of extra space in the shop. I ordered a 10 pack of 1 8 inch straight cut bits off of Amazon for 20 bucks, so I'm gonna change that out. Now I did nick my finger on it. It's kinda of always good to draw blood early in a project to keep you more cautious the rest of the time. I'm going to use double-sided tape to help hold the carve in place. I'll go ahead and screw my board down to the waste board and then I'll start the probe. I love having this probe because it sets the depth of the material so easily. Now let's get to carving. I'll just throw on the front face shield, keep all the dust and keep all the noise down. Now I know I shoot my videos in high speed a lot. Those are the kind of videos I like to watch. I did increase the feed rates on this carb. The feed rates that were suggested took about two and a half hours. Now I increased every rate by I would say 20% and I was able to get this down to just a little over an hour. And I'm actually not working when it's carving, I'm working on something else. So I don't consider that a part of my paid time because the machine or the robot's doing the work. If you like fun and creative videos like that, hit that subscribe button and do it, do it now. Plus, if you want to support the channel, check out my store, Erickson Design Company backslash merch on Streamlab. You get hats, t-shirts, stickers. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I do previews to all these projects and it's a great way to stay in the loop. The nice part about this is when the toolpath is complete, it just goes right back to the actual home point. I'll pull the door off and slide the cover back and I have built-in dust collection on this table so it's actually kind of satisfying to me to vacuum up the dust. It's kind of like one of those relaxing meditation things for me just to vacuum up all the dust. It's kind of fun. I'll release the carve by just pulling off the screws. Now I did use double sided tape here so I'm going to just gently pull it off and I like to get all the tape off the actual table before I move on. I'm way satisfied how this came out. And now over to my finishing table. I still have the paper down from the epoxy that I did on the walnut cutting board, the custom cutting board that I made. So I'm just going to move on to sanding with the 120, then down to 220. Now I'm going to take my torch here and I'm just going to burn it. Rather than stain it, I'm going to put a burn finish on it and this will burn all the high points and really make the uh, stencils I carved in there pop. Now it did cup the wood as I was burning it. It kind of dried the rest of the moisture out of the wood. So it did make a little cup in the bottom. The reason for the cupping is this is new growth. It's not old growth lumber. So it's got a lot of moisture in it and when I added heat to it, it sucked it all out. I'll go ahead and grab my bench top router and do a quarter round over bit on the bottom and then do an eighth of a bit round over on the top. Really make it nice and smooth and easy to handle, nice to the touch. I'm gonna do a little fine detail sanding on the stencils inside to just really spend the time to make them look really nice. Now that the sanding's all finished, I'm going to use up the rest of this butcher block oil. It'll be food safe and I don't have to use a food grade epoxy which will take 24 hours to dry and I kind of want to use this thing tonight. 
I'll make sure to use my fingers and really get this oil everywhere, especially in the cross grain. The nice part about a charcuterie board or a cheese board is it's up to what you have. You can put walnuts or crackers. I'm using a, a sharp cheddar here and an aged gouda, chocolate covered pretzels, two kinds of grapes, a beef summer sausage, and crackers. And I'll tell you what, this didn't last long in the house. Uh, this whole tray went really fast. Now that's going to make for a great gift. Wow, if you watched this far, you were hanging out with me in my shop almost half of the day. And it is the most fun that I could think about having. You know, I'm not sponsored by Inventables X-Carve. I bought this by myself. I've owned it for two months. I'm not a computer guy. Uh, I've only owned a computer for about six months. I'm a woodworker. And to be able to get up and at breakfast just have this idea and then design it so easily on easel and then come out and build it, especially out of a piece of scrap wood in my shop that would either end up in the fireplace or thrown away. And now it's tangible. My wife's gonna be so stoked about it. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, I would encourage you to save up and get one. I'm carving something every single day. It's too much fun. So leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you wanna challenge me to make something. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. And check out my other videos right here. And I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and we built something. Ta-da!